so it's been long that we had created our last video this video is going to be about the new agentic ai google anti gravity so i am on the anti gravity page and this is how their website looks like experience lift off with the next generation id so basically what anti gravity is it's basically a code editing platform which has google's agentic agentic uh, capabilities you can use uh, your ai models to auto complete your code to plan your code to design do everything that you used to do earlier as developers but with the help of ai pretty quickly so what they claim on their website is google anti gravity is our agentic development platform evolving into id into the first agent era uh, these are some features that are given for that then who can use it you uh, front end developers can use it full stack engineers can use it enterprise developers can use it etc etc and this is what is shown on their website so you can download it for your machine uh, directly from their website so i have downloaded it already and i have installed it so let's let me directly show you how the interface looks like so this is how the interface looks like it is pretty much very similar to the vs code editor which is a very famous editor used by a lot of people so pretty much like that it it is very simple on the right hand side you can see tabs here just click on this tab you can customize where do you want to put a lot uh, a lot of your things then uh, if you want the terminal this you can press then you, for your files you can press the sidebar then for agent agent uh, tab you can click on this tab and rest of the things are pretty much similar to the uh, vs code editor so you can search files from here you can search you can track your github changes from here then uh, you can run and debug from here you can uh, you can install extensions from here just like your vs code all right but the main part that i wanted to show you in this video is how easy it is to uh, do your development stuff with the help of agent agents in the google anti gravity environment now if you click on this tab so right now i have a very simple uh, react native project here and uh, this entire project i have uh, created with the help of uh, the agent that was there now let me show you how the project is so i'll just uh, simply run the project and show you how it is looking right now this is a very simple app that i was trying out to create with the help of anti gravity and uh, yeah this is how it looks like on the web so since it's a react native project it will run across ios android and all other platforms now what i will try to do is that using the google anti gravity i'll try to edit this into something else okay so click on this tab this will open the agent mode so here you can see there are two modes first is the planning mode and then there is the fast action mode so in the planning mode if you don't want to integrate the changes directly into your code you can select the planning mode but if you want to directly in integrate the changes in the code so you can select the fast agent mode so that will execute the task directly for simple tasks that can be completed faster and if you are not sure that how your things will look like so you can select the planning mode as well along with that it gives you an option to select the latest llm so by default since it's a google product they have given the access to gemini 3 pro high if you select on this tab you can see that there are other models also integrated google cloud sonnet is there cloud sonnet thinking is there opus is there gpt oss 120 billion parameters is there and gemini models are there of course and along with that you can you can uh, mention a lot of things here like you can mention document links you can mention images you can mention your workflows you can mention a lot of things that you want to take the project towards for example if i want to create a workflow where i have a login screen then i have certain screens and also i can mention a workflow if i have to give the design to it that i want the design in such a way so i can give the images of the design i can give the documentation of react native with the help of this man mention uh, part so i can mention basically all the files here maybe server terminal conversation etc rules etc etc i can mention this all these things and i can 
create the prompt. So let us try to, uh, so I'll try to show you, uh, make this into a simple app where I have a login screen for users and a home page with three sport option cricket football and uh, table tennis and uh, keep the theme black and orange okay so planning mode is selected i just click on send so if you want you can just open it more wide so basically it has implemented the plan here so let's see what it has done let me just just see the plan so we'll transform the existing application into a simple sports application with customized screen blah 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 so basically it has given me the entire plan start the app verify click login and direction to the home page and check for three options uh backward compatible blah 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 and that's it that's it dismiss okay so this plan is the uh, what I want to integrate in my uh, code. So I can click on proceed here. So as I clicked on proceed, what happens is that now I think it's executing the plan. If you want to change something in the plan itself, you can put your message in the review option. As I clicked on proceed, now it is actually changing the files that are present in my project. So by default, it will search for the root directory. So my root directory is the to do. And inside this, there are the files, basically the TypeScript files of React Native uh, components. And it has started uh, editing these files, even creating files that will be required for the project will be done. I guess we will be given an option to accept it in the code. So let's wait for the completion. Okay. I think it has completed everything. So it gives an option to reject all and accept all. So what I can do is I can review it first and then I can accept all. So acceptance is done. Now we can check out how the code will look like. So the the expo is still running so let me go to the local host again okay so it has basically changed the uh, entire thing as i said orange black and it's uh it's basically now my login and blah 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 whatever so as i click on it it gives me option to select cricket football and table tennis so crazy good man this is really good like i am highly impressed with the ability that this agentic uh, id has given to developers i mean uh, this this could be a really a very good thing uh, for uh, developers who have limited knowledge on development but uh, they are good with uh, they like they want to ship products very fast so uh, this is something that is uh, the future of development and uh, one should definitely try it out and uh, let me know how you guys are using the anti-gravity for your projects. And if you want to even check out how this app looks like uh, on your uh, emulator, Expo emulator. So I will be scanning the QR that I have right now and we'll be checking how it looks like in the emulator. So I will be opening the Expo emulator.
uh, or if there is any other product out there which is better than anti gravity at this point of time so i will definitely use them so i hope that you have learned a lot from this video and uh, if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to write in the comment section below uh still then see you next time guys bye bye keep coding